What's popping? I apologize, that was next level lame. If you're not a member of the Matt Attack family, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you. We are family. My name is Matt Ross. I am an international male model. And you're watching another day in my life when I hustle to become the number one most influential male model which has ever stepped foot out of South Africa. All right, let's get straight to the episode. So if you are a, 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 a what the heck, Matthew? If you are a regular viewer of these vlogs, which you definitely should be, then you'll know that these vlogs are high energy, they fun, and all that stuff. But today I need to take a moment for a little bit of real talk. Real talk. I just want to start this by saying that what I'm about to say is 100% true. It's not BS. I'm not making it up. Just in case any critiques come out, then they say, "Oh no, no, this is facadism." I don't actually give a you think that uh, it's the truth and I need to share it with you guys. All right, guys, number one, I'm broke. This right here is literally all the money I have. It's 50 Rand and something cents. This is my wallet. There is literally nothing else in there. Just slips. Lots of slips over here, no extra cash. That's it, that is all I own. Number two, I am sleeping on a family member's couch. That one right there. And number three is that I'm more than 17,000 Rand, this many dollars, this many pounds, and this many euros in debt. This is my debt statement. There it is, 17,854 Rand and 12 cents. But wait, Matt, didn't you spend six months modeling in India? Yes, I did. But wait, Matt, didn't you come back to Cape Town, shoot campaigns for Martini and Rossi for 24 clothing, TV adverts for Samsung? Oh. Yes, I did. So the logical question that I'm sure you're all asking yourselves is why on earth am I in this situation? Why am I staying in a one bedroom apartment? My apologies, I haven't even shown you around. All right, guys, here we go. House tour. All right, you come in. So in that room over there is my family member's room and there's the bathroom behind me. Bathroom. This is the foyer where I'm drying clothing. You have got the kitchen and then you've got the lounge. My workspace, my clothing, my bed slash <laughs> lounge suite. So with all that being said, this lounge basically serves as my gym. I just have to move this out the way and then I can train when I want to. Just like this. Speed baby speed. It serves as my bedroom, my clothes, my bed. The third one you guys know so well is my workspace. And to give you guys the idea, I've shot some of my biggest campaigns, Martini and Rossi, Samsung commercial, 24 fashion, all while living basically on the floor. Because it's the hustle, guys. It's the hustle that matters. All right, gang. So why am I telling you all of this? One, it's not for pity. Two, it's not because I want your money. Three, it's not because I want your sympathy. The reason why I'm telling you this is one, I want to be historically correct. I am hustling it right now. I am grinding. I am pushing, right? Because I know that I am going to become the most influential male model that has ever stepped foot in South Africa. I have no doubt about that. It's going to happen. And I want to show people where I came from and that it's possible if you're willing to work for it. Two, if I ever have kids, I want them to see that hard work matters. And three, Three, I want you guys, whatever your circumstances are, is to realize that if you're willing to maybe sacrifice short-term pleasure, that you can have what you want in the long term. Spending more time working than more time playing. That being said, I have had opportunities to maybe work desk job. I was making good money as like a waiter slash stripper. Where it was like over 10,000 Rand a month, but you have to sacrifice for what you want in 10, 15, 20 years from now as opposed to what you want a week from now, a month from now. So it's less bling bling, less change, less fast whip, more long term planning. If you're in a similar situation that I am in and uh, you have any level of ambition to any sort of level that I'm, I'm looking to push, there is no way that you, there's no way that I will do that by buying stupid and not investing in your long term success. I'm talking about spending money like frugally on the basics the stuff just eggs just basic food the meetings the investing in your social media investing in your youtube content whatever it is that you wanted to do you need to invest in your long term and not in your short term so buy those nice things if you want but don't expect to get to where you want to be and do not get me wrong i mean they are precious like i don't like having to loan money from family so I can buy like food for myself and eggs. I've got some money coming in from the jobs that I've done, but there's a waiting period. And I'm picking up jobs as like a promotional guy as well, just to help cover the costs. Uh, but the truth is, it's all about being on the ground, bro. 
Jeez, that was loud. I think the question also needs to be answered is, well, how do I afford like the coffees that I get? How do I afford to catch trains or Ubers or stuff like that? One, I either use the money, the money I made from modeling or two, I have to loan it, which is awful. I think it's also important to answer because a lot of my close friends, a lot of my close relatives say, hey, Matthew, why are you so antisocial? Why are you never partying? Why are you never doing cocaine? Why are you never popping bottles? Why are you never... The reason is, guys, is I would rather spend my money on getting to my castings. I'd rather spend my money on food than spending my money on a good time now. So I'm not trying to be antisocial. I just want something much bigger uh, than maybe what people can see right now. Maybe in your goals as well, in my goals, people often don't understand the, like, the sure mass the sure size of what I'm trying to achieve. And that's okay. You can't prosecute people from not understanding what your what your level of ambition is. Hey guys, I'm not being antisocial. I don't not like partying. I do every now and then. But my primary focus, my main goal right now is to get out of this situation and working my face off, pushing hours until 1, 2 a.m. every single morning, producing content, making these daily videos, responding to emails, partnering with brands, doing the work, putting in the effort so that I can become the number one. If you want things in your life to change, yeah, you're gonna have to change things in your life. Do you guys like nuts in your mouth? I like nuts in my mouth. Don't be so kinky all the time. Come on, guys. A quick coffee meetup. They think I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera. Alright, a little present here from Gemini Handcrafts. Big, big shout out to, uh, to Gemini for the gift. Uh, and a big, big shout out to Lubabalo Aranza, to Bubs. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be working on something uh, next week together, which is quite fun. Launching a new playlist, so uh, pretty pumped about that. Next step is to head from town to Durbanville. Another one. Another one. Guys, you won't believe it. I think I've just seen the mentalist. Oh my gosh, is that you? Is that you? It wasn't him. Uh, such beautiful weather, but I run out of airtime on this phone, which I'm filming on now. So I'm popped down to a 7-Eleven uh, to go and get some. All right, gang, I've got a 3 p.m. conference call. Brand new, brand new social media post out. This one was for SaatchiWest.com. All right, gang, I've been inside for the last couple of hours. Take a look at this weather. So beautiful, clear skies, a little bit of wind, which means I am 100% gonna go for a run. You guys wanna come with? All right, squad, it is half past six at night. I finished my run, I've had a shower, and uh, temperature's dropping. Matt, but aren't you in a vest and pants? Uh, aren't you gonna get cold? Damn right I am, but I didn't pack a coat, so tough. Uh, I gotta go collect a hat that I used in a photo shoot that I forgot in. Ah. The photographer's car, it seems like forgetting is my, uh, my strong suit, so here we go! Matt, is that beef jerky? No, bro, it's Truvos. This is cocklicker. All right, got it. This is the hat. This is why we came here out in Monderton. And some people down the road are having a freaking party, man. It's a vibe out this side. I'm getting straight back to uh, the hustle and the grind. It is almost midnight. 10 minutes to midnight. I'm calling it night. Thank you so, so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate your attention. I will catch you beautiful people in another 24 hours. Go hustle, go grind, and I will see you then. Cheers. But at first you need a leg just want to say a huge thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Come join the Matt Attack family. New videos every 24 hours. And once again, thank you so much for listening to that rant at the beginning of this episode. I really do feel passionately and I hope that you're joining me for this journey. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be uh, insane. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs, but it's going to be a jewel. And I really, really hope you'll hit subscribe and, and join me along with this. Please share your feelings on what I said earlier in the episode down in the comment section below. I respond to every single comment. Every single comment. Because I'm a grinder like that and because I care, you guys take the time to watch this and share and engage and that means the absolute world to me. Uh, that's it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Huh? Peace. Uh, so let go. Let go. Think I need to let go so I get to move on.